I want to show you a different, some of the different tools that you can use in grafting. This one right here is called field craft. It's done pretty much on the bench type as we've already put in right here. And so pretty much I can make it stationary and try to turn out quite a few grafts in a day's time. One disadvantage about this type of grafter is you're pretty much going to have to use pretty much large sign wood and large root stock. So I'll place it in with the cut, trying to match up different sizes. Looking in, making sure I have a good cut. Make the cut and I have like a wedge shape. Then I will match it up to the sign wood. Place it in. Go ahead and make, count my two to three buds. Then I can make it slide straight on to it. And when I do this, you can see it'll match up the cambium. I gotta match up the diameter and then I'll end up pretty much putting rubber bands on this, trying to hold it tight. And with me is Tracy. She's gonna hold it while I do this. Then I'm just going to pull it back down so I can tie it. This tool right here is kind of expensive. It costs a couple hundred dollars for it. Now with this one right here, I've got everything wrapped up on it and I need to, uh, then again, I'm going to have to put something on the top to keep the moisture in. And then I can go ahead and put something on the rubber band. And with this one right here, I've gotten wax. So again, I can get a grafting wax, I can heat it up, put it on the rubber band. One thing about this, this will keep it from breaking down, so I am going to have to be careful. If by, again, a date of July the 4th, it is not off, I probably will end up having to cut the rubber band to give it room to expand so the tree can expand. Wax does cover very good. You don't have to worry about any kind of, you know, any type of air getting into it with this. And then I would fix the top and go from there. Does anybody have any questions about that? The question was, is what temperature do I keep the wax? That's a pretty hard question. I mean, you, what we use is a hot plate and we keep it like on a setting of one. I guess you had the, using the range top, you might be able to set a little different. So when you set the pan up there, and start heating it up and pretty much the wax we use is pretty much a block of wax. We'll cut off a section, put it into the pan to start heating it up. Now there are different types of waxes that you can get. This one's one type. We actually have another type that you would actually just knead it and you would get it to the consistency you want and then you would apply it to your graft that way also. We've also talked a little bit about using some of the tree compounds. And this comes in a lot of different things. You might use a tree compound. You might use a grafting compound. You actually see them in different types, different consistencies. So pretty much when you start doing this, best thing to do is try a couple of different ways, find out what works best for you, what gives you the best results. Again, I'll end up making my cut. I'm going to turn it in this direction. Make the wedge, match up my sign wood. Throw a couple buds up. See what which one has a better fit. On this right here, you can tell I have. Pretty good fit all the way around on it. Got a little bud on this side, but it's still it's holding very tight. Holding rubber band tight. On this one, you can actually push your finger up against part of the sign wood. And that way you will keep it from falling off or coming off of that. Okay, to turn this one. 
I'm just going to wind it down because we are using pretty large, large rubber bands. I can pull it back on itself if I want to. A little bit so I can tie it. Having trouble with the rubber bands, but you can buy these in different sizes. Sometimes I've had small ones that actually had to tie them together to do certain types of work, and like I said, sometimes you, they are kind of large. Pretty much on this, and I can use a tree coat this time. Again on this, just try to stop the top so we won't have the moisture leak. Coat the bottoms. Do a very good coating on it. Then it's ready to plan out. Any questions? How deep would you plant that since it cut pretty close to the root? The question is how deep would I plant it since this and is, you know, pretty close this way. Pretty much I'm seeing the roots initiate right in here. Pretty much I'm going to have to keep it about right there, a couple of inches below that graft. The problem with that is if I was to plant it here, pretty much this root stock right here is a dwarfing root stock, uh, pretty much an eight foot tree. If I was to plant it below this, and some of this would go back to maybe put out roots up in here, it'd almost be like maybe a standard size. So instead of an eight foot tree, I may have, I would have a taller tree with that. Any other questions? Thank you.